Hello everyone, it's time for us to go and take a look at the iPhone XS Max and compare it against the iPhone 12 Pro Max and see which specific phone you should go and pick up in 2023. Now if you have the money, go for the more expensive one, that's kind of my motto. But if not, I think the XS Max is still a good phone to own. But if you want to buy some phones I would recommend buying this year, links will be down in the description. You can get them from there and you can help support the channel at the same time. Now starting off side by side, you can definitely tell there are some a lot there's a lot of similarities, but there are a few key differences as well. So with the iPhone XS Max that came out back in 2018, this was a very good progress phone that you know Apple made. I think that's the best way to put it. Actually, that's a horrible way to put it. This was a Max, the first Max phone that Apple made, which was very cool. It brought a 6.5 inch Super Retina OLED display. Now this was a really big display at that moment. I mean, the biggest phone we had from Apple before this was the 5.5 inch or 6.1 inch panels, but even those weren't as big of a phone as this one. Well, the 8 Plus was, but the screen size on this thing was massive. It had Face ID, it had slim bezels around, and this was a very good panel that Apple made during that moment. Now with the 12 Pro Max, this was an even bigger phone that they made with having a 6.7 inch display, and this was, a, and this was an even bigger phone, it's just so funny. So it's a big panel, you have the notch up top, you do have flat sides, so it is a little bit of a slimmer appearance that it doesn't have as much bezel, but it still technically is. It's just like the body of the phone just kind of got slimmer. It still is very big. It's still a very good panel. This one may get better and brighter, but I would still say the iPhone 11 Pro Max or the XS Max panel is still very good for the most part. Now, in thinness and thickness, I will still say both phones like fairly similar in this style. I mean, both phones are very good. But the 12 Pro Max it really changed things up and made the phone feel that much more premium. It's a flat-sided phone, and it feels like a slab of gold with the 12 Pro Max. The 10s Max, I think, still looks very good, but the curved glass, I mean the curved side, really does take a toll. Like, it really does look like an older phone, which is pretty surprising. You have lightning ports at the bottom, which is great. On the back, you do have <laughs> very cracked back on the 12 Pro Max. It's just kind of how it goes, you know, definitely phones get crack sometimes and this is the problem with glass on the back i like frosted glass but you know that kind of takes me to the skin on the back of the 10s max and this one had a crack back too but i put a skin on it and the thing with the 10s max is that it did have that standard glass back the 12 pro max with the frosted glass back definitely looked better and i definitely did like the 12 pro max panel in the back of this phone i kind of wish i didn't crack it but still beyond both the 12 pro max i think is the better looking one if this glass wasn't cracked but that's kind of how both these look Cameras on the back as well, wireless charging, IP certification on both. You do have the MagSafe capability on the 12 Pro Max, which basically gives you that little like you know MagSafe accessories if you want to use them. But you can go and use them there too, which is pretty cool. So in terms of that, that's kind of how both these phones kind of hold up on the outside. Now in terms of these software updates, this is another kind of interesting spot. The 10s Max, because it is a two-year older phone than the iPhone, you know, 12 Pro Max, you are going to be getting an overall, I would say, longer lasting phone. From something like the 12 pro max and that's just how these things kind of go i think we all know this by now the newer the phone the more likely it is to get more software updates and that's exactly what's going on here now with a phone like the iphone 10s or the 12 pro max you're still going to be getting support for a you know, long period of time and it's definitely going to be longer than the 10s max but it's not going to be lasting forever either phones like the 13 pro max and the 14 pro max are going to be outlasting this one but that's still like two years newer than the 10s max which is pretty insane so from that perspective, that kind of covers it up from there as well. Now let's go into a speed comparison between both these phones. The XS Max has that Apple A12 Bionic chip inside of it with 4GB of RAM, where the iPhone 12 Pro Max has that Apple A14 Bionic chip inside of it with 6GB of RAM. So let's go and see which one's the faster one between both. Okay, there we go. Let's go and clear all the apps in the background, and they are all cleared out. XS Max is here, 12 Pro Max is on the right. Let's get into it. Phone calls, 3, 2, 1. Okay, about the same thing. Let's go and do their app stores, three, two, one. And the 12 Pro Max is the faster one here, with the 10s Max a little bit slower. Scrolling through, you can kind of see 12 Pro Max, I think, is doing a better job here. Let's go and hop out of this one. Let's go and do camera, three, two, one. Let's go and take a photo, three, two, one. Let's go and open up the photo. So this one did have that thing, which is kind of weird. Okay, both were pretty fast. Photos, three, two, one. 12 Pro Max, I think, was the faster one. Hopping out of here. Mail, 3, 2, 1. 12 Pro Max, again, was the faster one. We do have some of these third-party applications we can go and open up on both. So let's get into it. Temple Run 2, 3, 2, 1. Now, this game isn't crazy, but there's always pop-ups that come up, which completely distract how everything is going on. 
So of course we have it on here, we have it on here. <laughs> so it's just so funny, but the, everything still loads up in the background. So it's not like it pauses the loading. It's still loading pretty much exactly the same way. You can see right here the 12 Pro Max did kind of get through it a little bit faster. Let's go and hop out of this game. Let's go and try another one. Let's try Twitter, three, two, one. 12 Pro Max again is the faster one. Let's try Snapchat. I do have 321. That's a very outdated version of Snapchat, so I don't even think that's the real version. Let's go and hop out of this one. Let's go and try Snake First Blocks 321. Twelve Pro Max again is a faster one. Now this game glitches a lot randomly, but you can see it glitched up a lot more on the Tennis Max. That's on the left. But they're doing pretty good here. Let's go and hop out of this one. Let's try Tank You 321. I don't even know why I still play this game. I've never played this game before, but it's always a game that I, you know, have on my phone. You can see the 12 Pro Max was again faster to load this one up. Let's go and hop out of here. Netflix 321. 12 Pro Max again is a faster one. And this one kind of stuck on the loading panel. Let's go and do stack. 3, 2, 1. And overall, I mean, I'll definitely tell you, the 12 Pro Max is going to be the faster phone in pretty much every single area. There's not going to be a way where the Tennis Max is faster. I mean, it might still be a smooth phone on the Tennis Max and still a fast phone, I would say, for the most part. But you are still getting an overall faster performing phone and a better performing phone from something like the iPhone 12 Pro Max than the Tennis Max. So, from the speed and performance side, that kind of covers it up there. Now, in the camera department, like I mentioned, you are getting an overall, you know, better camera setup for sure on the 12 Pro Max than the Tennis Max. So on the Tennis Max dual camera setup, wide and telephoto lens, the 12 Pro Max wide ultra wide telephoto lens, as well as that LiDAR sensor, which is very cool. So you don't really need a LiDAR sensor, but it's still a nice touch. 4K 60 on the back, 4K 60 on the front of the 12 Pro Max, only 1080p at the front of the 10s Max. So I think both phones are still very, very good, but the Tennis Max, I don't think is as good as the iPhone 12 Pro Max. So with something like the Tennis Max, you're still getting the 10X zoom, which is really nice. You're still getting 1x zoom, which is very, very standard. There's not a lot like above crazy other stuff going on with this camera. Photo mode, portrait mode, panorama mode. It's a very standard camera, and I think that's okay if that's what you're looking for. But I know a lot of people would probably prefer having something that has a little bit more features up its sleeve. That is something where the iPhone 12 Pro Max kind of steps in at. So with the 12 Pro Max, you are getting, I would say, a better camera in pretty much every single area. So you're getting that 0.5x zoom, so you have that ultra-wide camera, which is very important. But you're also getting that 12x zoom, which is interesting. So you're getting 2x zoom more on the iPhone 12 Pro Max than on the iPhone XS Max. So that is actually a very cool thing that you're getting from this type of phone. You're getting video mode and time-lapse and portrait mode and all that other stuff. But I still think the iPhone 12 Pro Max is for sure the better camera for a fact. So to kind of sum up this video, what I'll tell you is... A phone like the iPhone 12 Pro Max, I think, is clearly the better one in pretty much every single area. It is a more expensive phone, but it's such a better phone in every single way. It's so much more similar to a 14 Pro Max, and I'm a big fan of the 12 Pro Max for sure. With the iPhone XS Max, I still think this is a good phone too if you currently own it. Would I go out of my way to buy it? Probably not. I don't think this would be a phone I would like actively go out of my way to buy. But if you still own it, you know, keep it for sure. But if you want to buy a better phone, the 12 Pro Max is there. The 13 Pro Maxes have gone down in value a little bit too, so that might be a phone you should go and check out. But those are pretty much my thoughts. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, soldier.